Without a doubt, our thoughts and perception create our reality. I'm gonna tell you the real truth about this alien invasion that we're going through right now. Oh my gosh, my mind is absolutely and utterly blown. Good news, we might not actually be living in a simulation. Should get you so pissed off, listen. His name is Dr. Donald Lehman, and um, he's mentored me for two decades. I worked when I was in my undergrad in some of the early human studies. And at that time, it wasn't such a hot topic in terms of argument. But, you know, it's really interesting as I'm writing my book, I'm looking back at the literature and World War II, um, during rationing eyes. times, there were recommendations. And the recommendations for protein, are you ready for what those were? The yes. soldiers were given at least one pound of meat a day. An injured soldier, and this is from literature in the 1940s, 1945, an injured soldier was given 250 grams of protein. And what no. the records are showing and what was reported was that they had a 50% increase in their healing capacity. Yo, that is crazy. I mean, are were they getting different protein than we get now? Why are the levels of protein that are recommended nowadays way less? Welcome back, goons are watching Explore the Weird. I literally have more weird, strange, literally all the things, and we're going to get into it. Oh, my God. It's that guy. He he knows the thing. He's the airbender. He's the avatar. He knows. And I guess this is another airbender that... Yeah, I'm calling Cap, but, you know, at some point, maybe I am I need to open my eyes. You ever wonder why your soul decided something kind of trivial about your lifetime, like maybe why you have glasses? I had a client that did a timeline healing hypnosis session the other day, and some of her guides came through with the Arcturian Council. And she didn't even ask about it. They just volunteered it. I can't even remember what the context was. But they said that she had such a hard time witnessing the way that humans treat each other that she chose to not see very clearly. Hence the need for glasses. If that resonates for you, you'll have to let me know in the comments below. Wait, is that real or is that just like people that wear glasses say to We're gonna keep it going. Here's the dark truth about self-improvement that nobody talks about. You may become the best version of yourself, but as soon as you learn about what you should be doing, for example, I should be reading, I should be working out, I should be getting up early. It creates this mental checklist that if we don't do everything on that list, you use it as ammunition that you then use against yourself. And that's because the truth is that self-improvement alone doesn't satisfy us. Self-improvement is only one part of the journey. The other half that is vital for growth is self-acceptance. Accepting where you are right now. Accepting every small and big win learning from our losses and enjoying the now i love this i am a goon i am accepting where i am right now future teddy has made it and i am living the dream i'm enjoying it on this journey just like every other goon watching we're all accepting by the way by the way goons did you interact with the video before the video even started are you a true goon oh you're just watching because you stop it you stop you interact we're trying to grow we literally are coming up out of nothing, growing like anything. This is the thing. You make you help. You help. You help. Build up that good karma. Start. Start interacting. All right, we're gonna keep it going. This 36-year-old mom of three was stuck in being wired but tired throughout the day, saying each day she would go, 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 but also feel exhausted the entire time doing any activity, whether it be driving her kids to school, at work, or even at home. She just felt absolutely exhausted, but very anxious at the same time. She felt as though something was off with her hormones, but her doctors really only gave birth control as the only option. So she didn't want to go down this route, so she came to us, we ran some labs, let's take a look at what we found. Looking at her Dutch test and her adrenals, there is a big thing we can confirm about her being wired but tired. Her cortisol production is on the lower side. However, her rhythm is screaming high throughout the day. Classic, someone being wired but tired. 
However, we can also see that there's this cortisone saying that there's a lot of inflammation present being on the elevated side, saying we had to dive deeper. As we dove a little bit deeper, we ran our stool test, see what's going on the inside. One of the big things we can see is actually she had a moderate detected parasites going on inside of her gut. Additionally, an H. pylori bacteria, a very common stomach infection, came back positive. Now that we just got these labs back, we can start taking some action on what's going on the inside. Ultimately, there's always a reason for anyone's symptoms. You just have to be willing to dig to find those answers and then develop a plan on how to take control of your health. Yo, that is crazy. Yeah, do the things. Get the tests that you need done. If you believe you need them done, don't just start doing cleanses just because you think that's what you need. Make sure you can back it up with some evidence. Because trust me, you don't want to be doing cleanses if you don't need them. Oh my gosh, my mind is absolutely and utterly blown. Where are my Gen Xers at? You guys are not going to believe this. We see so many challenges on this app all the time. So many of these kids are all like, hey, let's do this, let's do that. And most of the time I just sit back and I think, yeah, well, you clearly, uh, were born after the 2000s because that's stuff that we did without calling it a challenge. Well, there's another one. Another one that has resurfaced and I have lost it. The current challenge is they're going to try and write their name without taking their hand off of the pen, without lifting the pen off of the paper. It's cursive. The challenge is can they write in cursive? This is why we fought to keep cursive around. And now they're making a challenge out of it like they invented it. Congratulations, Gen Z. You've discovered cursive. Oh my God, that's hilarious. They're about to go pat at the thing. They're like, we made the thing. We made a whole new language because this is why education system needs to teach. Stop removing things without adding new things. We just keep removing. Soon we're gonna be learning nothing. What are they even teaching them nowadays? Are they teaching them the things? Oh boy, oh boy. It's crazy to think they shut me down for doing stuff like this. It's not my fault I got a crazy imagination. <laughs> teaching people how to grow their own food indoors, unconventional methods, different means, out of the box ways. It's dangerous, it's so dangerous to the system that profits on people's disease. Look how absolutely unorthodox this is. These containers and this equipment that I ship nationwide so people can pull something like this off in any space that they have could be literally this much space as this paper sitting down on our smallest equipment. It don't pay for dirt, okay? Check one of these out. Build it if you don't want to buy it. It's really easy. All you got to do is just get some worms or find some, take some of that, and put it into here, and they're gonna eat it and mate all over it. Turns out that loves what they eat and do after they eat. People are getting like 50 bucks a pound for what they call black gold. I'm in a zone six, that's an orange. Guys, help me out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Growing Fruition. It's linked on my profile. Get yourself a grow kit while you still got time to do it. Oh, that is crazy. That's some pretty good uh, growing that you got. That's a nice setup. I truly can't keep up with all the science news. JWST released this photo yesterday, and at first, it looks like a regular space photo, but it's not. These 10 galaxies are connected by a 3 million light year long filament. And the whole structure, this giant thing, is anchored by this quasar. Cosmic filaments are crazy. They're strands of dark matter and galaxies, and as they spin, they pull matter into the orbit and towards galaxy clusters at the ends. And this spinning string of dark matter connecting all of these galaxies is especially long and narrow. All of these galaxies formed when the universe was less than a billion years old, making this one of the earliest filamentary structures ever associated with a distant quasar. 
And astronomers think that eventually this will evolve into a giant cluster of galaxies. And the same project called Aspire looked at eight supermassive black holes from the early universe and found that they were all kind of unexplainably large. And the program's principal investigator said that even if a black hole started with a mass a thousand times greater than the sun, it would have still needed to accrete one million times more mass at the maximum possible rate for its entire lifetime to get this size. The moral of the story is that they're spinning dark matter connecting galaxies with supermassive black holes that are bigger than they maybe should be. Yeah, that is crazy. You, I feel like this lady just explained like entanglement. Is this like star entanglement, space entanglement? But wait, are we sure this is real? It's space. We're, we're going to keep it going. Not everything is always so easy to explain. Take a look at this video and tell me what you think it is. I know what I think it is. Leave it in the comments. Unanswered Universe. Bro, what the hell? Was that one hell of a firework or what? I Was that the Fantastic Four, the flame guy just walking through? He's like, yo, I need to cool down in this fort. Nothing makes this is crazy. That was crazy. I thought this was a joke. Apparently, dye in Doritos can make mice see through. Researchers at Stanford were experimenting with different dyes and how they might change the way light travels through living tissue. And they stumbled upon tartrazine, a food dye that gives soda and snacks its bright color. Human skin is not see through because light hits it, and the various ingredients in your skin scatter it in different ways. Tartrazine mixed with water can change the refraction index, helping light go straight through instead of scattering. The process is pretty simple. You just have to rub it in. And within a few minutes, they could see organs and veins. However, there are a few challenges. For one, it can only go so deep, which could be an issue since human skin is about 10 times thicker than mice. Second, it won't work for every condition we need to see. And third, we need to determine if this specific mixture is going to be toxic in the high quantities we'll probably need. I really wanted to include the images which are available the problem is because of the color of the dye, it looks like kind of a bloodied mouse, which it's not, but TikTok won't know the difference. Sources are in the video description, so definitely go check it out. It's pretty cool. Bros, Google this on your own. Google this on your own. That's crazy. That's crazy. I feel like it's going to be toxic. Okay, this appears to be a reading one. Old uh, hospitals had sun decks. The sun heals you. Okay. Somebody changed the way. I mean, hospitals still have roofs, right? If one of the patients wants to go outside on the roof and just be like, wait, maybe they don't allow patients on the roof because they're afraid of what they're Okay. And I don't know why they changed this, but I have feeling that I kind of know why they changed this. <laughs> We're going to keep it going. Good news. We might not actually be living in a simulation. The basis of simulation theory is this. You have a real universe, the base reality, where civilization evolves and gets really smart. So smart that they start using computers to program simulated worlds like video games. As technology progresses, these worlds get so real that they become indistinguishable from reality. These simulated worlds also come with people in the form of AI who don't know that they don't actually exist. And so these people also evolve and develop computers to create their own simulated worlds within their simulated world. Then this new simulated world also creates their own simulation. Then they create a world, then they create a world. And this pattern repeats essentially forever. So we have the real world, the base reality, all the in-between worlds that can create their own simulated worlds, and then the last world in the chain that's still working on it. You still with me? Classic simulation theory states the chances that we are the base reality is one over potentially infinity since this pattern repeats forever, which is 0%, making a 100% chance that our world is simulated, or 99.9999, whatever you want to call it. But here's what changes everything. We currently don't know how to make a one-to-one -one replica of reality as a simulated world like all those in-between worlds know how to do, which means we're either the last world in the chain who hasn't figured it out yet, or we're the first world, the base reality, and we're still working on setting off this chain reaction. That's one out of two. 50% chance we're in a simulation and 50% chance we're in the real world. The only problem with this, it's a catch-22. 
Sure, we don't know how to make perfect simulations of reality yet, so we're 50-50 as it stands. But as soon as we create that first indistinguishable from reality simulation, we're right back to where we started. And so we can either be the single base reality, or one in the infinite chain of simulated realities, bringing us right back to almost guaranteed to living in a simulation once the first perfect simulation is made. And these right here are video game graphics, so you be the judge if we're getting there or not. I feel like we get it there. Now the real question to the goons, is this the base? Or are we the last? Are we the last? Or is this the base? I want you to look at this mess. It's the poop is on. I'm squeezing the trigger. I know you are. What the heck? That is just. Why are you scamming people like that? What is. Oh my god. Okra has it. Lemons has it. Cucumbers got it. And the information you're about to watch in my video cannot be found anywhere else. I'm going to share the platonic solids found in our body, which essentially are the dots within this meridian body. So what we're seeing on this doll are the outside dots showing the meridians, but there's dots all inside. This is a, we are a 3D makeup and we're not seeing the internals. My Cyma 1000 frequency machine came with this instruction guide that'll show us the exact sacred geometries of the different organs. I'm gonna run through this super high level. We're made of five elements and the generation or the destruction of them is how they relate to each other. And those elements are linked to different emotions and different organs. Now, each one of these elements are linked to a meridian. This is that pathway. And this is this meridian doll that essentially fuels our physical body. And I'm not gonna go too much into this because what I wanna show you is how the hexahedron or the dodecahedron are found within our etheric bodies. This is showing that when someone is working on the liver or the spleen, that all four of these points in the shape of a hexahedron should be tuned. Yo, what? That is crazy. We that we're our own energy beings. We literally have the dodecahedron in us. That is crazy. We are the zero point beings. We are the zero point energy. We are the ether image. I'm gonna tell you the real truth about this alien invasion that we're going through right now. Okay, first of all, the elite's playbook is getting so predictable by now. Oh, let's get them to look here and not there. While something major that can expose us is going on in the background, we'll distract them with something that's going on in the front line. While all these distractions are going on, the company that made the you know what is getting exposed for what's really going on with the you know what. You really think that aliens that can bend space and time can get shot down by our average technology? By the way, all these things are happening where no one lives, so no one can prove it, and their greatest weapon is for you to be in fear. When you are in a fearful state, you are the easiest to control. Fear resides at the lowest spectrum of vibration. People who vibrate at the highest spectrum, the love spectrum, the enlightenment spectrum, they aren't controlled. Everything that's been going on these past few years is all to keep you in fear. If you watch the media, you are being programmed. By the way, they can easily fake these things or fake a messiah or fake a UFO by Project Blue Beam. They have perfected holograms. Everything you see is a lie. Look within for the real answers. Peace and love. Bro, I feel like they're 100% gonna fight do the next thing as a projection it's gonna be a thing they're gonna somehow leverage all the things that they've set up in order to all right i'm spam we're gonna keep it going we just got three more just three more without a doubt our thoughts and perception create our reality what the elite have done is create religion an element of system matrices to follow to control your energy like there has to be some kind of foundation and that is set and so what happens is all religions are an element of system matrices to help you control energy because everything is energy I'm at a point right now where I realize is I can create my own system matrices to govern my life and how I live. And as long as I abide by those laws, my energy stays with me and I become powerful. Oh, wow. That, I love that for him. I'm glad it's working out. Are you goons able to unlock the same? Let me know. That's interesting. Your laws of the universe. Laws of the universe. Or get the master key. I'll be here. Wow, I thought there was gonna be more. Okay, interesting. I love XXX Tentacion. He inspires me. He changed my life. I love all his music. I love this guy. 
burned by Ross, if you just tells a random stranger just walking by, you know he knew the thing. So R.I.P. R.I.P. Alright, just one more. People with ADHD have a tendency to freak while driving. And no, I'm not talking about the anger stuff. Maybe that's for another TikTok. But in the meantime, I'm talking about the happy freak. The freak where we're slamming on our steering wheels and we're freaking out and looking at the dude next to us and getting all excited. And that happiness, that excitement primarily stems from music and dopamine. So let's talk about it. There's been a small study done a little while ago that was actually proving that music in general that gives people chills actually has the ability to create your overall dopamine levels by 9%. Guys, that is massive. And by chills, I want you to understand, that means the alternative side to music. People with ADHD have a primary sense of loving soul, dubstep, ED, like EDM style, metal, rock, very, very hard hitting, passionate music. And it's because of the idea that people with ADHD love those chills. We love that feeling of just making a drop happen that makes us freak. And that's what gives us the dopamine with music. I love that. I love the dopamine explanation. Now I know why I'm fixated towards certain types of music. I need to feel the thing. Like, wow. There was a lot to take in. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you guys made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, do let me know. Fairy. Fairy? Fairy. Fairy. Um, I will know. And I'll appreciate you because then I know you're a true goon. You literally watched all the way to the end. Wow, we even... All right, there should be videos on the screen now. Click on either one of them. Continue the goon fix. The one in the middle, you can subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fairy. Fairy. Goodbye. Wake up, wake up.